What's up, everyone? It's your man, Mr. Brown. We're back with another reaction. We're here with more Euphoria, which has been... It's been a treat, let's just say that. And I love that you guys are just throwing theories at me left and right. I'm always loving, uh, you know, just reading what you guys have to say. And, you know, these videos have been doing so well, so I just can't wait to just keep dishing them out to you, you know? Um, I look forward to this every, every week, you know? I know and a lot of you do, too, uh, when it comes down to this show, because... Man, oh man, every episode is just, it's getting better and better and better, and I'm just, I just don't know where I stand with some of these characters, and they, they're just really, they're just making me think so much, and it hurts my head, but I absolutely love it, right? But, I don't know about you, but I'm a, I'm a little nervous, I've been hearing some crazy theories about Rue, I don't want to say it in here, because I don't want to, you know, throw anyone off, but if you guys want to talk in, you know what I'm talking about, you go nuts in the comments, I'm, I'm like, I'm really interested to hear what you guys have to say. Again, I've been throwing up some TikTok uh, reactions and stuff. Well, on TikTok, we're almost at 100K, so go check those out. Like, we threw up some clips from last episode, so, episode, so you know, uh, feel free to do that. Uh, I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna try to take it down a notch a little bit with, you know, what I show. I'm still gonna show as, like, a, like a, a lot, but uh, last episode, we ended up getting age-restricted. We aren't showing anything crazy. I mean, this man, Cal, really had his junk hanging out for you know, uh, a big part of his monologue, so I was just like, yeah, yeah, that's, I had to cut, like, that scene mostly, and then play around with that, and it just became a whole thing, so, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna play safe, all right, just wanted to give you guys a heads up, but I'm really excited, like, I really don't know what else to say, so, uh, remember, if you're new, subscribe, like, do what you can, and, uh, let's get busy. Did Gia say something about Oh, this? no. You knew. Don't oh, slam my no. door, Please tell her I didn't say anything. I'm talking about opiates. I'm not doing opiates, Mom. Oh, oh, I I, if you want to drug test me, let's just do it. Uh, I don't want to drug test you. Okay, so then what? Jules told me everything. Uh, the betrayal! Oh, no way! Oh, that's next level, bro. That's the last person she expected. Please. What is he gonna doing? It's gonna be okay. Oh, okay. What is it gonna be okay. okay? Baby, it's Where gonna be okay. No, it's not gonna be fucking okay. You don't know. Fuck! It wasn't mine! Then whose is it? Fuck! Huh? Fuck. Oh, okay, look. no. Look, you guys go are to the fucked. Hospital, okay? Look, if you try to put me in a fucking hospital, I swear to God, we're gonna have a problem. Rue, no, no, you're out of control. The fucking hey, fuck. yo, fuck we're doing Where this, bro. Where did you put my pills, Mom? You will not attack me in my own home. Go one your own home. I raised you. I did, okay? You're you do not fucking scare me! <laughs> oh, I love it, bro. Oh, it's so good. You're not a good person, Rue. Oh, no. He has a shame, Mom. My dad's dead. Come on. Kind of keeps you from admitting what a shit fucking mother you are. <laughs> I can't. Oh, poor Leslie. It's so intense. Daughter's an addict. You hear that, Gia? Oh, it's indeed. <laughs> Yo, you're, Ruth's acting like a total bitch. I don't want to put too much pressure on I'm you, sorry. but you're probably going to have to be a fucking neurosurgeon. Because if not, then mom is 0 for fucking 2. And nah, that means you're that it, it might actually just be her fucking fault. Someone's going to hit her. Shut the it. fuck up. I know you want to get the fuck off of me. Don't you fucking touch her. Oh! Get the fuck out of here. Oh, my God. What did you do? Oh, Ruth. Oh, gee. Oh, this is so yeah. sad. You fucking hate me! Oh so my god, I. this whole scene has been them? so what? intense. Nah, props to everyone involved. This is ridiculously well done. This is way too Where realistic for me, man. Where did you put the bill? This is bad. This is really, really bad. Yeah, yeah, oh, she's good. Yeah, the day is good. Coming from someone that has seen multiple people have outbreaks like this, and and and, and you know has seen a situation like this, yeah, they're the portrayal of it all, bro. Everyone, this is just extremely well done. Yeah, it's been close, man. I'm telling you, but it's props to everyone here for real. I'm so I'm sorry I didn't mean to scare so you. So fucking powerful, dude. Oh, real. I, I just I don't know what to do. What did you do with them? We flushed him down the toilet. No! No! You look in Paris, Rue. Oh, God. This is not good. Even Elliot showed up. Nope. You're a fucking rat! Oh. Yeah, so you go 
on. You are fucking dead to me. Oof. <laughs> you don't mean that. I fucking mean every <laughs> fucking word. We're done. Why are we starting off like this? There's no <laughs> meeting you has got to be at the top of my fucking list. Nah, she's just she's just going oh, on at this point. Cry. Oh, no. <laughs> you wanna fucking cry? Go around fucking sucking the fucking spirit out of everyone! Oh, dude, you I... like that shit? Oh, I hate this. Makes you Ru feel good. No, no, that's not true. It is Rue this season has been an absolute menace. I don't want her to get better, but I don't know how much longer I can sit here and be okay with it all. You know, she's she's nuts. She needs help. You love being loved. You're a fucking greedy whore who just likes sucking the life out of people. Oh, fucking no. Words, Jules. You fucking lost me when I was at my fucking lo <laughs> The fucking acting. <laughs> so I goddamn you, good. Everyone in this damn room. Because honestly, looking at you makes me physically fucking ill. Whoo. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I liked her the way she was. Nah, nah, we got so we got to do something with this guy. <laughs> Forgive me. Just missed it. Me too, baby. Me too. And listen more. Oh, oh no. No, nah, I don't care if this isn't her show. I want Gia to be happy. Look at her, man. She doesn't have to. She doesn't deserve this. They, I understand what you're doing, man, but why why do it there? Ah, <laughs> uh, they just got the death stare going. Ah, oh, there it is. Everybody's mom fucking says that, okay? Even the ones who bury their kids. God. Oh, yeah, I'm feeling for her the most, bro. <laughs> if you guys didn't do this fucking intervention shit, I was about a month away from killing myself. I have this image in my head. Oh, rude. Okay, baby, we're almost there. It's not fucking okay, Mom! Rue, what the fuck? Rue! Rue! Rue, Rue! Oh my god, Rue! Bro, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, you crazy bitch! Oh no! Yo! Ah, this show is tough! Insane, bro. Ah. Uh. Please. Hey, Ru. Oh, hi. Hey. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh no. Her oh, cheese. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. You look terrible. Yeah. I mean, really terrible. Okay. Huh? Mm -hmm. Being a good girl. How long no. have you been clean? Um, since the summertime. You look great. She's not doing good. <laughs> Dog, where are you going? Rue, please don't do this. This is making me freak out. I don't like it. Rue! Is everyone there? Oh, fuck. I'll never fucking end. Oh. This can't make you feel good, Rue. This can't make you feel good about yourself. Oh, another intervention. Just fucking leave me alone, please. Just take it one day at a time. Nah, look at Cass. Hey, Cass. Yeah? I have a quick question for you. Oh uh, no! 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 How long have you been fucking AJ? No! <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what? What? It's the drugs. It just makes it hallucinate. <laughs> ah! I'm not. <laughs> Look at it. What are you talking about? Oh, I, I'm I, so I saw her get in his truck and then kiss him oh, and drive off. That was God. like a week ago. Ah! She Cass was trying like to help you. Really bad. No, sh you're fucking. Nate, are you kidding me? Ah, oh, this is so good. No, this my is one way to change the subject. Okay. Literally gonna get violent. No, there is no need to get violent. Okay, She's about to break her toe. Why do you girl? not even know why you're believing her? She's a drug addict. Uh, <laughs> you dumb. Uh, I'm gonna no. you run away from me. Run! I'm rude. I don't. I'm shitting my brains out. Please, guys, go away. You want some Pepto Bismol or no. something? Nah, no, he's a good friend. All right. That's where the grandmother is. What are you doing, bro? She cannot be this gone. 
You're gonna lose everyone that loves you, bro. You're stealing from. <sighs> nah, bro. That's next level. They're gonna catch you when you're fu They're kicking you out. You won't miss them. Principal rule. It's just not right. Let go. Please. You gotta leave the house. Naya is pissed. Let you gotta go. leave the house. Get your fucking hands off of me! Get fuck off me! Oh! oh fucking We're not doing this shit today! Fez, get the fuck We're not doing this today! Get oh, Fez ain't oh, playing! Gotta get the fuck out the house now! Oh, man. When are you gonna realize you got to get this help? So far, this is the darkest episode we've got in this season. Oh no, don't look at us! <laughs> oh, Rue! 007 type stuff! <laughs> oh! Yeah, you're, you're screwed! <laughs> you're a big fella! As long as you don't steal the dog, I'll be fine. Get out of there, get out of there, get out of there! Okay. Oh. I think someone broke in! Get the gun! Oh no! Oh, oh holy fuck! No! <laughs> Run! <laughs> what? Oh no! Is that a pet? Run! Shit! <laughs> oh, Roo! Oh hell no! <laughs> hey, good shit! She got away. Oh my god. Oh, fat ass bro. Come on, Root. <laughs> oh, come on. Run, Root! Oh, I don't want to get a cut. Oh no. Oh, this is so beautiful, bro. Please, God, don't let me die. Yeah! Oh my God, this is so good. <laughs> oh my God, you're crazy. Oh! Run! <laughs> no! Just fucking like, screw it. Book it. Dog, you can't get your break. Hey, run! Oh wow! No, Rue! Raw cactuses! <laughs> oh! Yeah, she can't get caught with the amount of damage she caused. She cannot get caught. No, what he stole, you crazy girl! Look at him going for her ankles. <laughs> Yo, she actually got away, bro. If she's in that trash can, I'm telling you, ain't no way it was that easy. Did they really check everywhere but those trash cans? Nah, that's crazy, bro. Oh no! Oh Hi. no! Ruby Bennett, I'm uh, so happy to see no. you. No. You wanna know a funny thing about me? I don't think I've ever gotten angry in my entire life. I don't know, dude. Yeah, no, that's true. I've never gotten angry. She's so scary. <laughs> oh, you poor kid. Let me help you get cleaned up. Really? I'm so nervous bro, around her. I don't... She has no expression. Like, She just talks in the same tone, so I never know what her plans are. I... I remember a couple of days before you uh, passed away. The day her dad died, or at the funeral for you. You told dad. me all I would have to do is close my eyes, <laughs> and we'd be together. Oh, oh, this is killing me, bro. That's it. I lost my grandmother um, on Thursday, the twenty seventh. So just hearing her. Oh, this show is so good, dude. Wow. Don't wake him up. Be quiet. Oh, Rue, stop being so loud. Yo, she's so loud with it. 
so loud. Like, like, it's like she. Oh, stop being so loud. Big guy. Oh no 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 no. Yo, this this episode got me all over the place, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, she's just going through the ringer this episode. Oh, Rue. Rue. No way, that's it, bro. How long was this episode? What? Oh my god, wasn't that a treat, dude? Oh, I'm all over the place. I know that happened just. Yeah, oh, the episode just felt like it went by so quick. It's ridiculous. Okay, all right. All right, so crazy, crazy episode. And that went by a lot faster than I thought it would. And on top of that, it was actually pretty neat that we focused specifically on Rue for the entire episode because I feel like they've been a, doing a really good job with kind of uh, uh, bouncing each character. Each character had a little part in each episode, you know, but this episode was just all about uh, Rue. They managed to, to, to get other characters involved and a lot of characters were involved, but it, even if they were only in it for just such a short period of time, it Rue was the focus and uh, obviously it makes sense why. Okay, this is going to be crazy to talk about considering everything that, that was going down. Like, this episode hit so close to home, and it was absolutely ridiculous. There were so many moments, you know, just the arguing, uh, you know, uh, with her and her mom. And the, the, I don't know, like, I'm not saying that that's the close to home part, but uh, just the realistic, uh, seeing how realistic it was and, and different things like that. One thing that I know was, got me a little emotional was, uh, when she was talking about her dad at the funeral, talking about how whenever she can close her eyes, she's still able to communicate with her, considering that, I uh, couldn't communicate with him, considering that I, I lost my abuelita not too long ago, so obviously, uh, hearing things like that, it's, 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 it sucks, you know, and, um, the acting, it, they just make the scene, it makes the scene 10 times stronger, and they absolutely kill it. There's really no other way to explain it, but um, just in that opening moment, we had uh, Rue, of course, talking about the drugs, which obviously, those drugs, like, like, part of the reason why she was snapping, and it's not only because, yeah, she wants her drugs back, but the fact that if she doesn't have those drugs she is screwed, and we got, we made that, uh, we got that message when we had that lady, I need to pull up the names, I'm telling you, I'm just awful with this, well, when she pulled up and said, yo, like, Rue, like, if you screw me over, I promise you, uh, like, like, you're gonna end up, uh, I'm gonna end up selling you to someone that, that will do, do things to you, and she's like, she's like, don't screw me over, I'm not kidding, and, uh, that lady, the one with no tone in her voice is absolutely, like, like, I don't know, she scares me just because she has no emotions in her voice. But I'm really excited to see, you know, uh, where that does go. Because it di did seem that she was being extremely friendly to uh, Rue. And although, like I said, I don't under I don't know her emotions half the time or, like, the facial expressions because she doesn't show them. I really don't know if she's, like, like, like what, what she's doing. I don't know if she's actually mad. I don't know if she's plotting something. They don't, they don't, like, show it. And that, I think that's part of the reason why, why she's honestly such a cool character. Because they really have no chill when it comes, comes to that. Uh, I'm looking for her name and I just can't seem to find it. You guys find her name and make sure you let me know. But we're just gonna dive, we're gonna dive back into it. But, yeah, so, of course, we have, um... Rue's mom, you can't you can't blame her for being worried. There's just so much to this. I mean, the the her snapping at her mom, and then her going in the Gia's room thinking Gia, uh, you know, snitched, and uh, them just going back and forth just for uh, you know uh, the mom to eventually just straight up smack Rue, like be like, yo, like no, we're not doing this. Get out the house. They were just, the back and forth thing was just killing me, and it was like. I don't know, the acting in that situation between all three was just, oh my god, it was just so good, and I, it really was killing me, because at one point, I'm like, trying to be emotional, because it's like, oh my god, like, this is a crazy heavy scene, but then the next minute, it's like, oh my god, like, this is a crazy heavy scene, and then they're managing to, to pull this off, like, they're, they were, they were in it, man, and it just seemed so goddamn realistic, and big props to all of them, for real, I mean, it's, Oh man, that 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 was beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, but um, 
Of course, the suitcase gone. That's always a problem. She needs to get that money back, as we saw later on. Ended up, you know, sneaking into people's houses, doing all these different things in order to get money. And it was just, I don't know. It just sucked to see her uh, in that, you know, in that space. Jules, of course, was the one who, who told um, Leslie. And at some points, yeah, call her snitch. Do what you got to do. But Rue is doing something that potentially could or could, is going to kill her. It's gonna it's gonna mess her up. So obviously they're in a situation where like 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 she's just calling her out just so she under like just so Rue can get that help. And although Rue Rue doesn't want to hear it from her, she don't want to hear that shit from anyone. It makes sense, but um, it, it's at a point where this girl is literally talking about killing herself because that's just how things are. She doesn't want to be here, and it's and it's rough, you know. And uh, but. Seeing her walk up to Jules and just kind of like go up in her face and Jules, I mean, say what you will about her because obviously she's had multiple moments where she just, she's a hypocrite, you know, but in this specific situation, I mean, she does want to help her. She, she loves Rue, but she literally just sat in that chair and took it and it was just so sad to watch because Rue's over here just like barking up a storm and, and yo, and she's at a point where she doesn't have any help anymore considering what happened between her and Ali, and I honestly thought, out of everyone she went to, because it really showed her going to everyone that she knew's uh, house, but, like, the thing is, she was trying to steal from all of those people, she went to Lexi, she went to uh, Fez, she, um, uh, where was the last place she went, she went to the drug dealer, but, um, I honestly expected there was a house that she went to that didn't look familiar to me. So I really thought she was going to knock on the door and it was going to be Ali. And it was going to be her trying to trying to talk to her and talk to him. Uh, honestly, if they ended the episode like that, after all the houses she went to, like she finally clicked that, you know, she's not in the right headspace. And then she ends up going to the house that she knows will end up fixing her. I could see that being a, a cool way to end the episode, but... Just the rampage she was on in this episode was absolutely nuts. The amount of things like her that that that's that uh police chase so well done. I mean, usually we're watching shows where usually action shows where the dude's running from the cops and usually we see so much parkour, so so much of this, so much of that. But Rue isn't no track star. This isn't what she does. She's not someone that's going to run from the cops and, and usually succeed. So just seeing her like like the ways and day portrayed it was just oh my god, it was beautiful because she's over here like like you can see how worried she is. You can see the way she's kind of running in that odd manner. Uh she, of course when she's hopping the fence super slow and then she falls on the glass table and then she's over here breaking so much uh she's causing so much damage that of course would be a pain in the ass if she got caught money wise, she'd be screwed. Uh, the car crashes, just everything that's happened because of her. I was so surprised she got away from the cops. Like, I'm like, dude, like, it's one thing to get away from w one one car, one cruiser. But then they ended up pulling out, like, four of them or something. Like, so many came out of nowhere. And then, like, thank God she hid in that trash can. But she was at a she was at a point where I was like, all right, this is a, this is a wrap. I do not know uh, what is going to go on. Um, of course, Elliot was there. Elliot was at the... Um, it's a little not really an intervention but was there and it kind of sucks i mean no heads up or any of that you just see rue kind of snap at all of them and then um after she does that you just hear uh her say uh, you hear leslie i believe it's her mom's name say um like 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 oh so um, you put on a show for them basically she goes out there she sees elliot yada 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 get super tight which of course is understandable but Elliot, like, this man is just, like, I liked him so much at first. But right now, it's like, even by some of your comments that you're you're sending my way, I'm at a point where it's like, he's cool, but he's not good for them. But then there's points where it's like, wow, he's kind of a douche, you know? Like, he's just doing things that are really throwing me off. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, it's, it's crazy, you know? And it's like, even him, he's like, oh, I shouldn't have said anything. I liked her better when she was on the drug. You know, I liked her better when this was, I liked her, you know? It's like, it, it's they're just people that don't click and it's going to be crazy to see how uh you know how he does end up leaving or what's going to go down but things things are going to get crazy from this point on because Zendaya really Rue excuse me needs to get the money to uh the the dealer because like she said she's not playing around she's like if I don't get my money I'm going to ship you like I'm going to send your ass to people that will do terrible things to you because I always get my money back 
and uh like like i don't know i i understand like the whole idea of it all but i'm so damn scared for her i don't see this working out i just see i just see this it's gonna be it's gonna be it's gonna be awful but uh, i'm definitely excited I'm, I'm i'm looking forward to seeing where it goes but um as we see saw so far in this season rue is just messing up first we saw what she did with ali that was pretty awful but then this episode, of course, in order to get out of the conversation she was going in with her mom during that whole intervention at uh, Cassie's house, she ends up finally bringing up the whole Cassie situation, um, which obviously had me going nuts. Because obviously, as far as we know, Rue was the only person that saw Cassie sneak into Nate's car. So her throwing that at Maddie and, oh man, I really expected something to go down. I, I really wanted like the broken toe to be involved because this might be a spoiler for some of you so i'll wave if you don't want to hear it but anyway starting now um sydney sweeney was in a uh interview talking about how she broke her toe and who broke her toe and she she ended up saying that it was alexa demi she ended up mentioning uh that 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 happened at first she was avoiding uh you know mentioning who it was and then it got to the point where, uh, you know, I forget who, I think it was uh, James Corden. He just kept pushing at it, like, who was it, who was it? And then she ended up saying, because he wanted to know, he's like, oh, was it Maddie? Did she find out? And then uh, finally got to the point where, yeah, it was Maddie. So she, like, like I guess maybe stomps or does something that breaks her toe in, the, in real life. But I don't know exactly if, if it was a scene where she actually in pur purposely steps or maybe she just walked by fast and could have already happened. I really don't know, but I'm really excited to see. Uh, more on that because obviously they got to be extremely secretive with um everything but yeah okay waving back for the people that hello you no spoilers and anymore for uh for future spoilers but yeah it's going to be interesting to see how how uh cassie and maddie do patch their whole situation up because rue just threw that like she needed a she needed a way to get out of uh the, the situation she was in so i guess it was smart but extremely douchey and, um, well, then again, that's, I guess that's rude for you, but it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be fun. And I'm, I'm really, I'm really here for it. What else do we have? Uh, goes to Cassie's house. You know, your boy's taking notes for a reason. Uh, Gia. Oh man. I felt so bad for that girl. The amount of crap she's been through with Rue. She still loves her, but bottom line is, uh, yo, know, she's going through the ropes as well because, this isn't something she needs to see. So just seeing her kind of curled up on her bed or just seeing, uh, you know, her reaction to just little things that Rue's saying and or Rue getting in her face, man. Yo, oh my God, this is just so... Everything in this show has just been phenomenal. A lot of the stuff is somewhat unrealistic uh, when it comes to, like, some, some interactions. But as far as, as, far as the, the, the interactions with the sibling and, and, you know, the family fight that they had in the beginning, I, f I feel like that was extremely realistic in certain areas, you know? Just that, the oh, man, I feel like that, that was absolute that was nailed. They're, they killed it. They're, that was absolutely, that was fantastic. There was really nothing else I can say. The, the acting... Oof, phenomenal, and I, I just can't wait to see what what else is going to come up from there. Um, But Rue's just a little criminal at this point, so it's going to be interesting to see how things do potentially, or, or if they do get better, I don't know, but I'm here for it. Um, I think we got everything we got to say out of the way, but yeah, I mean, she's doing crazy things, breaking out of the car, running across the street, like, girl's nuts. And the one thing that really screwed me up was her going to Fez's house. And uh, I'm like, nah, she can't be stealing from her. But she goes into the grandma's room. And yeah, Fez is smart. He says, yeah, we have no drugs on us because we got raided, basically. Like, like we're not going to keep that stuff here anymore. It makes sense. But he has the grandma that, of course, is, you know, she's not feeling it. So just seeing that happen and, and, and seeing that Rue is actually willing to steal or take a couple from, yo, Fez had so much patience there it's just his character obviously if he was a normal person i can tell just feel like the acting would have just been crazy but uh the playing that he played the character uh angus cloud played the character i think perfect because the way we've we've seen uh fez it's just like in altercations different things like that it's like he's not the the i guess the yeller not the best with words so um he was just like nah like you know you're forced to hear like you got to go 
And of course, when Rude tried to make a move, that's when he straight up was like, "Nah, we're not, we're not doing this," and straight up restrained her and grabbed her. And, and you know, he had every right to. I mean, uh, there's lines you don't cross, and the line of one of his only living uh, relatives out here, like, like she's really trying to, to, to take her medication. Like, nah, that's a, that's a no, no. But man, this, this is so good yeah they really killed it bro for real so i'm excited for the next episode so let me know how you're feeling talk to me we will be uploading some of these to uh patreon so if you go to patreon for euphoria pay attention make sure you let me know you want these reactions because once you tell me uh you want these reactions i will start uploading them i will uh, upload them as soon as i can but um uh, I haven't put them up there because no one up there right now watches the Euphoria reactions. But as soon as you guys want those shows, you got to let me know. That way I can throw them up. I don't put them up there right away due to, you know, space and all that. So if I put them up there now, uh, if you guys want them, I will put them up there because I know that, you know, it will be watched. It's simple. Top of that, TikTok. Go follow me over there. And remember, all the cash I'm using, we're saving up for the podcast and all that stuff. Because I'm really excited because we got that podcast in the works and hoping we can get some of these uh, people into Euphoria so we can have a couple episodes dedicated to Euphoria. And I think it will be fun. But uh, talk to me. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're staying safe. You are you are all awesome. I don't know why I struggled with that. And I hope you guys are staying safe. I will see you soon and um, peace out.